This video is about the text widget in Tekinta. The text widget is very similar to the entry widget, except it goes over a number of different lines. In fact, there's a lot more that the text widget can do, but in the scope of this video series, we're just going to look at it as an entry box, which can go over number line, a number of lines. So I can write into here, um, and I can actually um, have multiple lines. And I can even go over um, a line and it will wrap around. So I've done that. If I go display, then you see that's being displayed down the bottom there. So that's the window we're going to create. Let's have a look at how we can do that. So I've got um, the code over here. Um, we've done our usual imported to Kinter and created our window. Um, I should bring that window back up so you can see what I'm talking about. So, we have a label that we've put in, and I've just packed these, I haven't used grid this time. So label at the top here, um, we have a button down here, which we've put in, um, and the command for that button is a function called display, which we'll look at in a second. And then finally, I have got a message. I have got a message, not a um, label, because remember, message just goes over multiple lines, and that's getting packed into root, and it's down here and it's got no value at the moment in text and that will be changed and that's also been packed in to the root window we have the main loop running so we're all set to go so what we're going to do is we need to put the text box in so i'm making a text box and um because i need to reference him up here i need to actually pull the information from him i need to name the text box so he's a text um, he it belongs in the root window. It has a width of 30 characters and a height of four characters, not pixels. Be aware of that, that these run on characters. Um, once I've actually made the text box, I then need to pack it in. So I've done that. So that will be between the label and the button because that's the order that they pack in. And now I have to deal with the display function up here when the button gets pressed. When the event handler picks up the button, the um, button has been pressed. We are just going to run this function. Um, and the first thing it's going to do is going to use the user input. And we are going to get, um, we are going to assign to user input whatever's in the text box. So text box, we use dot get. Now this is a bit different to entry in that we have to say from what point do we need to get this. So we're going to start at the very beginning, which is 1.0, and go through to the end. Um, and that's going to collect all the stuff that has been typed in there. Um, then we need to delete what's in the text box. So textbox.delete. And again, 1.0. Um, and so notice it's a float. It's not an integer. 1.0 to the very end. Remove all the text that's in there. And then finally, we've got to take whatever... Um, has been typed into the text box and therefore assigned to user input. We need to then go to our display message label, or sorry, our display message message box, and configure it so the text equals whatever the user has inputted. So if I save that now and run it, you'll see that uh, we have text and they'll display down there. So that's how we deal with text boxes.